I'm Friedi Kühne and I'm going to tell you how not to free solo. So we're just going to completely wing this. Yeah, let's wing it. All right. Thanks for doing an interview with sure, us. Sure, anytime. Um, so what did you just accomplish? Um, I walked a new free solo Highline world record. And how long was it? 110 meters long, uh, 200 meters high. You didn't ask that, but I wanted to say it. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't a midline. <laughs> no, it was. It was. Um, it was a definitely uh, like a very uh, um, serious Highline for sure. At least at least it twice as long as um, at, at least twice as high as long, which is how you kind of want your Highlines. Okay, it <laughs> it looked intense. Did you? Um, where was this at? This was in uh, Gorge du Verdon in southern France. Big, okay. big cliffs with very, very easy access where you can do tons of highlining. And what crew were you with? Um, very good friends of mine. Pablo from France, uh, from France, one of my best friends. Um, super inspiring highliner. It was great to have him there. And another friend of mine from Germany, Quirin. And just a big crew of super friendly, awesome French slackliners and climbers who spontaneously joined us. Awesome. Was this a planned free solo or was it you felt good in the moment? Um, I mean, it wasn't planned in the sense that we went to this place in order to uh, do a free solo world record. But definitely when I got there, I started planning the next couple of days. Now, I told myself, okay, if I can cross this line for a couple of days, never fall, always be safe and, and feel like I'm in control of this line, then I can solo it. So I definitely practiced for it about two days, but I didn't plan out the whole trip like months in advance. Okay. At any moment you were out there, did you ever have any doubt or like any oh shit moments? I mean, I definitely, uh, it was definitely a hard line to walk, especially the end. I had some like shaky moments, definitely didn't walk it um, without ever stopping. I had some moments where I had to stop, wait for the line to calm down. But I never had, I never had any like, oh my God moments. Like uh, I definitely didn't think I was, I was going to fall. If anything, I had a couple of moments where I was thinking, okay, if I stay here for a lot, like if this fight, the struggle continues a lot longer, then I'm just going to catch or sit down. Yeah. So I definitely like got a little closer to my limit, but I didn't feel like in danger or scared at any point. So is your style to always feel calm with every step and you'll just wait if you don't? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I struggle on Highlands a lot, like, like other people when it gets harder and um, there's a mental game going on, obviously, and then you feel some pressure, but... I like to practice the Highline enough to just um, be in control all the time and to just know that I can walk it. Have you ever had to catch free soloing? I haven't caught on a free solo yet, ever. <laughs> but that's not to say that I, I, the catch will still be spot on because I've caught on plenty of like deep water yeah. free solos. But um, all the actual Highlines, like the um, basically fall equals death yeah, Highlines yeah. that I've free soloed, I, I never caught on them because I always walked them so many times that the walking just um, felt good. Wow. Did you did you suffer from sin, sin anxiety knowing you were near the end? Because mm. you knew what you were doing. Yeah. You knew like what it was going to be. It's, it's hard to not get the whole sending thought into your head. It's really hard to never think of that. Uh, there's, there's always a little bit of pressure towards the end. But on that line, it was physically very demanding I had to stay very calm and I just I paid so much attention to my body and to the line to my stance to my arms that um, I didn't I didn't have enough like free thoughts and, and time to think about sending and all that stuff overall I was just very in the zone and in the flow uh, which was harder this line or the the falls line you did last year uh, this line was a lot harder than the 72 meters at Huntington Falls okay. definitely yeah. Just from the <laughs> length or because of where is that? Because the length isn't always the crux. I'd, I'd say no, for sure the length. In this case, the okay. length. Because, you know, 72 meters is, um, is, not, is not super easy. I'm not saying yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, that it's easy. But uh, around 100 to 150 meters, depending on your conditions, wind or no wind, that's really where um, the amount of feedback and, uh, like, the, the waves and the movement of the line, I think that's where it peaks. Yeah. Eventually, big lines get easier again, but yeah. I think around 100 meters is pretty hard. Um, I think it's one of the hardest lengths. Yeah. I always struggle on 100 meters, and oh, yeah. I usually feel very comfortable on 200 meters. Yeah. I haven't sent a 200 meter yet, but like I can see like the difference. Makes and then sense. when I found out you did the in the 100 range, I was like, damn. It <laughs> almost seems like it'd be easier, or I don't know if it'd be scary to like do a 200, but like the 100 yeah. is still like what I'd consider one of the hardest highlines to free solo. 
I definitely had the the mark, the 100. The, I definitely had that on my mind. Yeah. It was important to me. It was just a wish, a long time wish. I, I'd say it was a dream of mine to free solo a 100 meter plus high line. Uh, that line was perfect because yeah. of the spot, the exposure and everything. We had a 130 meter line right next to it, a little further out, but basically the same height, same exposure. Okay. But um, I was thinking like, hey, 110 meters is already 40 meters longer than the last record. We're just going to keep this other line for later. You know, okay. Like, there's still other people, Spencer, Andy, they might be... That's uh, that's a good way to like it. I like I like the hundred meter marker. Um, yeah, that's a it's a great achievement. And what wet webbings did you have on there? Uh, fe uh, double feather pro mainline was feather pro and backup was feather pro. My favorite low stretch webbing. Okay. Um, I usually prefer high stretch like nylon webbing uh, over low stretch webbing any time. Okay. But uh, feather pro is pretty good. It's got some stretch and it's lightweight. Right so I guess between. for that range, it's. Um, it's a rather easy, or like generally speaking, it's a rather easy to control webbing. So I felt quite um, quite comfortable to use that webbing. And, and how tight was it? Was it just a hangover and yeah. it's a couple I, friends? I'd or? say it, it was complete average modern highland tension. Like maybe two people pulling on a hangover a couple times and it sags a little bit. Definitely tight enough to be able to walk off. Like okay. it wasn't like rodeo line tension. Yeah, we yeah. definitely used the hangover. Um, and if you, anything, and you liked the tension that was there, or you just got yeah. used to it because no, you trained I'm, on that. I like I like tension lately. I don't want okay. the lines to be like crazy saggy. I really yeah. like to be able to walk off without having to pull to drag myself up uphill at yeah, the end yeah. of a highland. So um, I mean, I, we didn't have a dyno in the system, yeah. but I'd say it was for sure um, between a hundred, somewhere between uh, one point five and two kilonewtons, probably. Okay. That's what yeah. it looked like. Yeah. Um, None of us want you to do this, but <laughs> do you have future plans and goals with free soloing? Mm, not right now. No, it's. Uh, We're very happy to hear that. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely started out as something in the moment uh, for me, just for myself. It's gonna stay that way. Yeah. Obviously, when it's a like some free solos deserve to be filmed and to be seen. Yeah. But um, overall, it's a it's a very personal passion of mine. I'm quite satisfied right now. I'm definitely. Okay. I mean, I still solo every once in a while. Yeah, recently yeah. with Andy and Spencer, some yeah. smaller lines. That was a great. But um, I'm not aiming to to push the record anytime soon. But maybe it'll take someone else to push the record to then inspire me to think about it again. Yeah, we'll that's see. how the speed records on the nose are. <laughs> yeah. It triggers other people to to do big things. Um, that's that's an amazing project you did, and uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please don't be an idiot. Don't rig your first highline on your own. Don't free solo in order to prove anything to anyone. Just free solo for yourself if you have to do it. Fuck sending. Just have fun, stay safe, and don't forget to subscribe.